Four minutes or less recipes, Alex and Felix. I'm Felix. Alex right here. Today we made, I don't even know if we call these fruit tarts, because we made some chocolate ones too. Yeah. Fruit, nice. fruit and chocolate. We made individual tarts. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll figure out the chocolate <laughs> fruit part later. Dessert tarts. Dessert tarts. There, there you, you go. go. Yeah. So we're going to start with the flour, add a little bit of salt, and then we're going to add cold butter. Now this butter we cut into squares, and then we put this into the freezer for a little bit to really firm up. And you want that cold butter to work with. So Why does it have to be cold? Um, if it's warm, it's just going to kind of melt when you put it in the food processor, and you're going to have a just a sticky mess, and it's, gonna, <laughs> it's just not going to work out. We don't want kind of like a crumb texture, which you can see me playing with yeah. here. So once we have that, we are going to drizzle in some cold water, because we want to keep that butter cold. And drizzle in the cold water, and then we're going to turn that food, press up, food processor on high. <laughs> I stumbled over myself there. <laughs> it's all right. I had a tough time. Got to power through it. Anyways, we end up with that kind of texture. I Dope. Have. How much like sand does it How feel? How much like sand? Yeah. Ooh, this is like a, if sand were Play-Doh. <laughs> so this is like a, the waves rolled over the sand, oh, and it's okay. thoroughly soaked it through, but it's very malleable. Oh, okay, okay. That's my favorite kind of sand, yeah. actually. So we're going to wrap yeah. that up in the cling wrap, as you just saw. We're going to put that in a fridge for maybe an hour to uh, keep it cold. Bring it to roll out here, which we did on a floured work surface. We're going to roll that out to, I don't know, a centimeter thick. And then we are going a centimeter to, thick? Centimeter thick. Okay. Should, Maybe even less than that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was. I don't it was remember a, it being that. It was a that thin, thin, thin texture. Yeah. 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 So we then once we rolled that out, we took a cup just to kind of get the size and use a, a cutter. You can use anything round, whatever fits your tray. We use a cup. We yeah. use a cup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, once you run out of space, you can't use the cup anymore. You can take the dough, mush it all back together, and roll it out again, and then you can cut it out. So you can reuse that dough until you get as many as you need. We are gonna put those in the baking tray, do an egg wash so they brown up. We're gonna poke some holes in the bottom of the tarts so the air has somewhere to escape. Yeah. So Make the sure they're like up. substantial holes. Well, not big, but yeah, you but know. Like, it goes all the way through. Yeah, yeah. So to make the whipped cream, we took the heavy cream, beat it to soft peaks, put the sugar in, beat it to stiff peaks. Very simple, we've done this a bunch of times on the show. Only two ingredients, <laughs> there's really no steps to it. Uh, next to make the raspberry part of the raspberry cream, we are going to take the raspberries, put that in our blender, blend them up, add a little bit of water to thin it out. That's going to depend on how many raspberries, how much yeah. water is in your raspberries, all that. We are going to then take the raspberries out, pour however much you need into the whipped cream or half of the whipped cream because you don't want to use all of it. Because yeah. you, want it you want some regular whipped cream too. Uh, fold it all together and you end it up with that cream. To make the chocolate ganache, we heated some heavy cream over medium heat, poured that in with our chocolate, which I got all over the place, and you can see me transferring it to this pot now. Yeah, you might want to just what dump mess. the chocolate into the, uh, yeah. the hot cream as opposed to... Uh, no, don't dump it into the hot cream, because then no. it's going to burn up. You want to dump a little bit of the cream here and, here oh, and there, because okay. the heat from the pan is going to ruin it. Oh, okay, okay. So once that chocolate cooled a little bit, we put the mint extract in. Once again, I can't tell you how much to put in. That's going to depend on your taste. Stir it up, let it cool down, it'll thicken up. We can then assemble the tarts once they've come out. So pipe your cream in, add your berries, whatever you want. Make your own decisions here. We used raspberries, blueberries. We had some kiwi, some clementine, yeah. just whatever colors we thought looked Very good. Very colorful, like garnishes. That yeah. We, put on top. we we do a lot of brown on this show, so we just wanted to add as much <laughs> yeah. as we could. You a lot can of see, chocolate, uh, a lot of caramel. Yeah, the uh, the mint leaf here. Yeah. Get a nice little, <laughs> little little green. Have some clementines. We just piped the whole bunch. So we use some regular whipped cream, that raspberry whipped cream, the chocolate combination of everything. They turned out really well. Yeah, very were, colorful. And very good. They were very... They were uh, good. Not yeah. too sweet, not too sour, a little yeah. bit of everything. Very tart. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. That was a quick one to get through today. Yeah, thank you. Take care, guys. We'll see you next week. Please subscribe.